back to the vlog and in today's video we have got a crazy video. We're going to be ripping a 1983 CR50 two stroke. This bike I'm going to be ripping is so rare um, here in the UK. I'm not sure if it might be so rare in America or some other countries but here in England this bike is really rare. It's 35 years old and it hasn't been ridden since the 80s probably. And it's a Derek Minter, uh, Dino Supremo bike. Just have a look. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curfew, cause all that is stuck in my head is me and you. So this bike hasn't actually been started for 10 years, what I've just been told. So, all the tires are actually flat on this bike. Um, there's going to be no oil actually in the bike. And the petrol in here, there isn't going to be any petrol. So we're going to going to need to put some fresh petrol in there. And hopefully, not clean out the carb, but worse comes worse, we have to clean out the carb. But we're going to have to see if we can get the old girl running. So this bike over here is like the big brother, because... We actually made a video on this, trying to start this, and that had no light, it didn't start. So hopefully we have a lot better luck with this one. Oh, running over all the dunk smart. No. Oh. Comment down below if you like my new tripod. I'm going to be using a motorcycle stand. Both of the uh, tyres are done. So we have actually got a slight problem. We've got no two-stroke oil and we've got no petrol. So I'm going to have to pick up the video again tomorrow um, and get some petrol and two-stroke oil ready for tomorrow. And it is getting quite late now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> so I couldn't actually wait any longer and I've actually gone and got myself some petrol. So I'm going to see, put some petrol in the bike very quick and see if it starts then. I'll see you again in the morning. But yeah, let's see if this works. Hello. Woo. So, got it outside now, got the petrol in. Just going to give it a couple of kicks um, to see what's... Um, see if it's actually going to start but we don't know if the sparks working or any of that so yeah let's just have a quick go says that's a true beauty of a Honda guys this bike hasn't been started in 10 years and you've just seen me just ride it up and down here it's just truly amazing and what I can tell just by that tiny bit of riding this bike feels a lot better than your usual 50s because now they don't actually make these with clutches they're not as high and KTM they're just 
you just twist and they go for it. They're only automatic, the 50s nowadays. Not like how the Honda used to be and how the 50s used to be. How they used to have gears, clutch, and they just feel a lot better. And Honda, if you're watching, you have to bring one of these out again. It's just truly amazing. I just could have wished I had one of these when I used to race in the minis and the autos. But before you say anything, I know I'm way too big for the bike. The suspension cannot hold my weight. As you see, that's how high it normally is. And just with me pushing it down, that's how low it can go. So I'm not gonna be like ripping it around too hard. I'm not gonna be running it too hard because I do not want to break the bike. So, but it is now actually 10 o'clock at night. Um, you probably can't tell, but it is the summer and it is getting light outside. So I'm gonna have to call it a day, but I will pick it up tomorrow and um, have some fun of it around the garden and hopefully on the backyard mini bike track. <laughs> um, see you guys in the morning. I don't know if you can, uh, if you actually heard that, but the exhaust actually, ah, oh, it's way too hot, but the exhaust has actually fallen off, guys. That is ridiculous. The tailpipe, oh, it's fallen, snapped off, I think, or oh, it's just a bolt. But guys, the exhaust has fallen off. Oh no. Obviously, I've just got it size, so it's not very well maintained. So, gonna have to hopefully put the exhaust back in and try to find a bolt that fits it. Oh no. Next day, haven't got a hat on. Let's get my hat on. Hats on, let's go. You know I met you in the dark, it was a Saturday night. Remember seeing you just dancing in the middle of the crowd. It was something about you, cause you got stuck in my mind. Stuck in my mind, stuck in my mind. I thought I'd give it a go and I started talking to you. I don't know. Right, so we're in the race space now and about to get my kids on to get ready to go and have a ride. Oh, cool. Got my boots on. This is show matches the boots. Helmet on now. Oh. Helmet's on. That's all I'm gonna need to wear, really. About to get my gloves, goggles on. Then we'll head out on the CR50. Hopefully it starts first kick. It's the hard gun. having a go on this but I won't be ripping it I'm not gonna be running it too hard because it's 35 years old and I am way too heavy for it so let's have a look at the suspension um, and I do not want to actually break the bike but yeah I'm just gonna have a go around like the field area then hopefully gonna have just, just a little fun ride around the track um, not gonna be doing any of the jumps because I think the bike will probably break if I do any of them just see how it feels and maybe do some but yeah let's go riding Um, as you did hear the bike was bogging very much but um, the rubber bit on here is um, not actually pushing down on the kill switch right so it was for turning itself off on purpose so I've just put a zip tie around and yeah hopefully it now works <laughs>
we've done a celebration. No, not a celebration, but it's not very fast acceleration. But when it does get going, it's actually quite a fast bike. So we're just gonna see what it's like on the mini bike track. Um, sorry guys, this track is actually very overgrown. We're gonna need to do some more maintenance to the track again. Apart from that, let's get riding. chain I think has broken or it's fallen off but I think we are missing parts from here so it's not it can't fit over or um the chain is on but as you can see look how loose it is and I'm even sat on it like that so I'm just gonna have to go around it very careful because this is supposed to be quite strong and look just gonna have to go careful probably so basically guys um, just after the bike and the chain has actually fallen off again. I literally it's moved from there to there and it's fallen off. So we're going to have to go back to the top and adjust the chain. But yeah, going to have to push it up now. Back on the stand. I think it's okay. Let's have another ride. the chain back on I think this is probably gonna be the last time we're gonna put it on so I'm just gonna go very very steady riding the bike and yeah let's just see if it hopefully works the bike chain is off again do not know what to do I have to push it all the way down there again I think we're gonna have to do it one more time do it really really tight and just see what's gonna happen so I think I've uh, figured out the problem and um, they're not on the chain adjuster here I think it's lost its thread so it's just sliding down and making the chain fall off so we're gonna give it one more shot then after that I think it's gonna be the end of the poor CR50 so I've made the chain extra extra tight now and put three bolts on the chain adjuster so hopefully it is okay this is attempt number five it's running right, but we're going to be running around that little bit, around the, um, sort of around the old track, if you do remember that. But, if it does work around there, we're going to be riding down at the bottom of our normal track, so yeah. <laughs>
um, I'm gonna sort of wrap that up from riding from down here on the bike. But guys, you can't have a lovely bike like this and not ride it. They're not made to just be sat in a place and collect dust. These were made to ride. So I ridden it and I had so much fun on it. But guys, the bike is very, very small. And I know you're gonna say, but it's a mini bike, it's a mini bike. But it's, I don't know. I don't know what it is, it's just completely different. But I had so much fun riding it. Riding it, and back in its day, it would be amazing for seven year olds and six year olds. If any of you are seven or six, this would have been amazing. So, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys up in the race base. So, I have really hope you've enjoyed today's vlog, guys. But we are sadly gonna have to put the old girl back to sleep, and actually. Let's do a recap on this. In 35 years, that will be 2053. So guys, I'll be 50 years old next time we do a recap on this. Hopefully I'll still be vlogging then and hopefully you guys will still be watching. So make sure you watch that video in 2053 when I'm 50 years old, ripping the CR50. But yeah guys, the mini bike trap is actually next week. So really excited for this and guys, Remember, keep ripping, keep riding, and like, share, subscribe. So yeah.